Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this double spanner card. This is basically follows on from the normal spanner card. So that's the top view. And then from the front, it looks something like that. Now you'll be able to see it better on the photos because I can't really separate out the segments. But you can do what you want in these inside pieces here. As you can see, I've got like little baubles in there and these strings here. Um, the papers that I've used are from a Christmas magazine from last year. And then the dies that I've got here are part of um, Coco Rosa Studio dies. And these are, it's like a little bauble set. I'll actually show you them in the video, but anyway, little bauble set. But if you use my code, you'll get 15% off um, your order. So please go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, so that's the card. And then you've got space on the back to write. Ooh, it's a bit of elastic there. <laughs> space on the back to write. Um, and the whole thing folds flat like this and fits in an envelope for a 5x7 card because that footprint is actually 5x7. So yeah, so that's the card. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, you're going to need similar bits to the normal spanner card. Um, but we're doing it slightly differently. So the mats and the patterns are a bit different. So for your main base, you are going to need two 5 by 7 um, card blanks. Um, if you haven't got a 5 by 7 just use a 7 by 10 Score it halfway at 5 inches. And that will give you a 5 by 7 card blank. So like this. I've already done this one, so I'll just put it to one side. But if you've watched the other video, you'll know what's coming next. Um, and then all we need to do is take a ruler and a pencil. And on the front of this card, we're going to make a mark at one and a half and at five and a half, as we have done before. And again, if you want to change those measurements, you can. Just bear in mind that if you do change those measurements, then you've got to change your mats and layers accordingly. So one and a half and five and a half. Then we're going to bring in our cutting mat. If you've got a trimmer that does this, you can use a trimmer. Or if you want to use um, a rule and knife, which is what I'm doing, then you can do that. So then we're just going to cut down these lines. So we're going to cut from the score line down to the edge. So across like that. So there's one flap. And then we're going to do the same on this bit here. So again, line up our little marks and just cut down from the fold down, fold line down to the edge like that. And then what we need to do is you're also going to need two pieces that are one and a half by seven. OK, so you need two of these. Normally you just have the one that goes across, but for this card you need two. So what we're going to do is just going to re-burnish these edges because they're not quite burnished enough for my liking. Can't get my school tool, so I'm just going to use the edge of a ruler for now. And so onto this, let me bring the other one in. So you want to do that with both of your... 5x7 car blanks. So you've got two 5x7 car blanks and they're going to go together. So where your crease line is, that's where they're going to attach. So you want to put them to one side. Now you also need two matte layers that are one and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Okay, so I've used this metallic mirror and you want to score halfway at four and seven eighths. Okay, now you also then need pattern pieces. So I've cut out four pieces and you want to put those, basically they're, they're going to be um, one inch by four and five eighths. Okay, and you need four of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold along our score lines. This is our four and seven eighths score line. We do that on both pieces. And you want to make sure that your mat card is quite a decent weight. So this is a Miri. So it's about, uh, well, it's over 200, isn't it? It's probably about a 220, 230 GSM, something like that. Maybe more. Don't really know. Um, but you want a decent weight. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it. This is going to stick. You're going to glue this bit here or put red tape on it. Um, yeah, I would do red tape. I wouldn't use normal double sided. And this is going to go on there like that. So it's folded in half. And that crease line there needs to line up with the crease line that's on your card. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use um, my usual Yoohoo because I do prefer a bit of Yoohoo. So we're going to go ahead, add a bit of um, glue on here like that. And then we're going to stick it down so that this fold line here matches up with that fold line there. Apologise for the sunshine coming in. 
I didn't have the heart to shut the curtain and shut out the sun. I'm hoping it's not going to affect the video too much. Looking through the screen, it doesn't look like it will. I just don't want to uh, shut the sunshine out. We don't see it very often at this time of year, so I don't really want to get rid of it when it's there. Um, so once you've done that, you'll end up with that. You want to do the same with this bottom one. This one's going to go on there like that. So we're just going to add some glue onto the bottom. Apologies if you hear mewing in the background. That's my kitten and my cat both wanting to come into the craft room. But my kitten is banned from coming in here at the moment because she's too young and she will end up chewing things which do not want to be chewed. So you end up with that on the bottom and that on the top. So next what we're going to do is just going to bring these in and we're going to make them really close together like that. And then we're going to put some glue on the top of this one. So we're going to put some glue on here. I'm going to do them one by one because I feel like that's a bit easier. And then we're just going to literally, as long as these two are really like touching, we're just going to fold that over like that and stick that down. You also need to make sure, obviously, that this is straight as well. So just make sure that it's stuck straight. Those two are touching because that is all these matte layers that we're adding on are going to be like hinges. OK, so these are going to serve as what holds your card together, which is why we need to be making sure it's a decent weight of matte card. Oh, the sun's really coming out now. I might have to shut the curtain in a minute. Oh, my days, that's the cat barging at the at the door. OK, so we're going to do the same at the bottom there. Just going to stick that down. I'm just going to shut the curtain because that sun is getting a little bit bright. OK, so that's that, that side stuck down. So we've stuck both sides down. So you should end up now with a card. So your two bits are stuck together. OK, and this is where you're starting to get your spanner thing, your spanner look. You've got like a double spanner thing going on. But I'm not just content with sticking it top and bottom. We're going to stick it in the middle as well. And so for that reason, you need one matte piece that is three and three quarters by nine and three quarters. And again, you're going to score it halfway at four and seven eighths. On top of that, you're going to put a matte layer, uh, not a matte layer, a pattern layer that is three and a half by four and five eighths. OK, so you've got two of those there. So we're just going to fold along our crease line. And this is going to stick, one side is going to stick here, and then it will open up and stick on that side. And again, make sure that your fold lines up with your folded edge there. So we just uh, crease this a little bit more, because it's not quite, I haven't really burnished it enough. There we go. Right, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick down, stick down this side here. OK, so I've stuck that side down, so we're going to repeat the process that we did at the top and bottom and we're going to add some glue onto this middle section here and then just open it up and stick it onto the other side. OK, so you end up with that. So the way it's going to fold up in your card is it's literally going to fold like that in half, which means that your card footprint is a 5 by 7 but it opens out to be way bigger than that. But you haven't had to obviously, you know, sacrifice with your envelopes and have a massive envelope. OK, so then what we're going to do, mine's not standing properly for some reason. Um, we're now going to go ahead and put the matte card onto here. So you need, in total, you're going to need four pieces of matte card. And these are all four and three quarter by six and three quarter. And then you need two pieces that are pattern and two pieces that are plain-ish that you're going to write on. Mine are actually patterned because this is the card I've used, I'm going to be using. However, they're just they're, they're plain enough that I can then write on them. So they're for the back. I'll stick those on in a moment. And then these are for this front bit. So one there and one on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these um, two here on the front. And then I'm going to stick these two on the back. OK, so that's the back of your card. And then if you turn it over, that's the front of your card. And it now stands up better than it did before. Now, the only thing you're missing, obviously, is your little struts, your spanner bit. So normally, the spanner bit would go on the front here. However, I quite like it going on the back. 
like this. So that's the way I'm going to stick mine down. So I'm just going to put this on, I'm going to lay it in place, and then I'm just going to use a pencil and I'm just going to make a little mark just slightly above the, the, um, the cut line. And then that way I know where I need to glue. So I'm gluing here and I'm gluing here. And I am going to use wet glue again. Again, you could use red tape. You could use, um, I wouldn't use normal double sided. I would go with something that, you know, that is quite thick. That you're going to, you can, you know, really go for. I'm going to do one um, first of all. So I'm just going to do the top one to start with. And I'll do the bottom one in a minute. So I'm just going to undo this. Just lift this flap up. Put this into place so it lines up along the side it lines up along the bottom it lines up along the top and then you can shut that one on it like that and then you can then put the glue on the bottom here so we're going to put some glue on the bottom here or tape whatever you're using and then we're going to lift this flap up like that and stick that one on top like that so it's still a spanner card it's just done just slightly differently so it actually over it goes over the top of this one okay so this is what you've got so far and then that also then adds stability then to when your card stands up it stands up a whole lot better than it did um okay so then what we're going to do is repeat the process on this side Okay, so those two are stuck down. So now we just need to use uh, get some matte pieces for here and some pattern pieces. So you have two matte pieces that are one and a quarter by three and three quarters and two pattern pieces that are one inch by three and a half. So these are going to go either side like that on those, on those side pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. Okay, so that should leave you with that. Just make sure if you're using wet glue, make sure it's not stuck anywhere. So that leaves you with that. So that's your card when it stands up. And then if we just hold it open, that's kind of how it will look when it's stood, stood up. So then you just need to go ahead and decorate. Now I am using some new dies from Coco Rosa Studio. Um, and it's this set here. So you get with it these three little, like, um, I don't know what you call them, dangly things. <laughs> I don't know what you call them, but they cut out really nice. They cut out really fine. So one's like a, a full star, one's a circle, and one's like a little cutty-outy star. And then you get these four um, baubles, which I've cut out here, as you can see. And they look beautiful. They're really nice, really nice baubles. Um, and then you also get these little bits and you can see these little stars. So these you can layer, layer up if you want to on top of here or you can layer them on top of there. The little circles layer up on there and these this little bow layers up on top of the bow. You also get the Happy Christmas with it as well, which is really good. So I'm using the Happy Christmas. Here's my Happy Christmas that I've... Oh, bear with, I'll find... Oh, so I can pick it up. So here's the Happy Christmas. That's how it cuts out. So I'm going to be using that today on today's card. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do, what I was thinking about doing was using the little strings, that's what they're called, little strings, and I was going to have little strings coming down across here like that, and then having, um, in fact, actually, I'm probably going to put them, I might put them on here, have strings on here, and then have some of the baubles dangling, because I was originally thinking of having the baubles stuck on the back and just having the strings down, but I think I'm going to put the strings on the back there, and then have some of the little baubles just dangling down. Now, if I'd thought about this properly, I would have put the baubles hanging down and the little strings I would have put in between this mat and the base layer, so that they're nicely sort of stuck in there. But because I haven't thought about that, I'm gonna stick them on the back and just put maybe another bit of card over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just start sticking these little string pieces um, onto these back sections here. And then we'll come back and do the baubles in a minute. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've attached my little strings on the back pieces here. 
And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the baubles. Now I was not quite sure what to do with the baubles. I've ended up cutting them out of this double-sided glitter card, which is from Dovecraft. Um, they do various different packs. I think they still do them. Um, and you can get, I think the one I got was like different mixed colours. So it had like a, a teal and a purple and a pink and a blue, yellow, different ones anyway. But they're useful because they're double-sided. So what I've decided to do is, I'm going to turn this over. And then I'm just going to lay my baubles roughly where I want them to be. So I'm going to have one high and I'm going to have a low one down there. And then one that's kind of a little bit higher, like about there. Okay, now I need to make sure that um, this bauble here, I hope you can see these, let me move this out of the way. These bubbles here do not go over that halfway line, okay? So you need to make sure they don't do that. Um, and then I think what I'm going to have to do, because I'm just deliberating over how I'm going to stick this down, is I'm going to use some Dovecraft Clear Craft Glue, because that's quite strong and will stick onto acetate. And I'm going to take one of my baubles. I've cut out these little acetate strips that are a quarter of an inch wide. I've put a little bit of red tape at the top. So all I need to do is I'm going to put a blob or two of glue on the central column of my bauble and then stick the acetate on top. That's the plan. Hopefully it will work. We will find out. So I've put some glue on the back of my bauble. need to make sure it's straight. I'm going to turn this round. And then I'm going to stick it. I'm not actually going to take the red tape off just yet. I'm just going to stick this down like that. So, oh, so I've got it on like that. It's attached in certain areas. And I'm just going to go ahead and just trim off at the bottom like that. And then when that's dry, I can go ahead and stick that on to the card. I'm not going to stick it on yet because I don't want it to fall off. So that will go there like that. Then we need another one here. So again, I'm just going to take my glue and work out where my halfway line is. And use my strings that are on the back as guidance. Okay, so I've stuck those onto the actual acetate, so now I'm going to go ahead and stick them onto the card itself because they're pretty much dry. Not completely, but they are pretty much. I'm actually going to turn it over this way and just stick them in. Okay, so I've stuck the first three down. This one really needs to be this way a little bit and down a little bit, but anyway... I've stuck it down now. I don't really want to peel it off and wreck it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, and we're going to go ahead and stick the other ones down. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the acetate on in little strips. So actually hang up. They hang up um, like that. Let me just quickly fold this so you can see it a bit better. I just want to sort of spring in the strange places. There we go. So that's the way it sits. And if I sort of hold it up, you can kind of see. You can't really see how they hang properly, but you will be able to later on. So I'm going to go ahead now and add my Happy Christmas up the top here. Like that. And then we're all done. Okay, so there you have the finished card. You can't really see it that well on... Here, but you've got to see it in the photos. We've got the Happy Christmas at the top. I'd probably stick it onto a backing next time. Um, but yeah, but it's quite good. And you've got space on the back to write. Obviously, it all folds flat like that. It's a bit chunky. It's not too bad. But um, yeah, but it fits into a, an envelope for a 5 by 7 card. So that is the card for today. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And we will see you next time. Bye.